Oh hey guys, welcome to my FTL playthrough. Um, it's, this is my first solo commentary, so I don't know quite how to talk. Um, it is, it's quite long. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be playing some FTL. It's a game on Steam. It's pretty cheap. I've played it a lot before, but I've not beaten it yet. Uh, got easy mode. I've got a couple of mods installed. Uh, not gonna use them. Other than the one that improves the graphics. So here we go. Basically, this is my ship. If you haven't heard of FTL before, um, I have to manage it. I'm with the Federation trying to fight off the rebels. That uses up fuel. I've got rockets. So I'll leave a, leave a small gap so you can read the. Read the text, I guess. And then I'll continue. Um, and I'll probably take damage if I choose number one. But, you know, I'll try anyway. Oh well, I got some scrap. They died. I really like this game, but it's really difficult. It's all about managing your resources and your health and stuff. This episode might not be too long, it'll only be like half an hour. But, yeah, I might do more. We'll see. So I'm gonna pause here, then auto fire so they keep firing. Aim at weapons and shields, because weapons, we take them down so they don't do too much damage to us. And shields, well, if we take them down, then we can hurt them. Now I only have a limited amount of missiles, so I'm going to stop firing them now. I need to make sure they don't get their weapons back online. See, they've already got one. Back. I definitely recommend Faster Than Light. It's not even that expensive. It's only single player, but I guess they couldn't really make it multiplayer. Now these are different systems I can buy, and I would need to power them, but I don't have enough money for them anyway. I'm gonna buy some more fuel, because that's always useful. Some more rockets. Uh, I got an FTL jammer. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, another storm. Distress signal. Probably a trap. Always is. Oh look, it's a trap. It's a trap! Let's go. Luckily early on the um, laser and... Well, the, um, the single burst laser and the uh, laser that goes across the ship isn't very good because I can get my shields back up enough to block their other laser, which actually does the damage, so. Uh, it's not very much, so I'm gonna keep firing at them. They can't hurt me, it's fine. Oh look, uh, it does nothing. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, I got about the same as I would have done if I had accepted the surrender. Now, these are like the energy I have to apply. Um, these are the different things I have. I think that the shields are very important, so I'm going to focus on building them up. Um, the price increases, you can see down to the right. Um, yeah. So to upgrade this, I would need 20 plus 30, which is 50, plus 40. Because I need to buy the power. So that's 90. So I need 90. Scrap. I don't know why the money is measured in scrap. I'm just rolling in scrap. Oh, I don't usually play with music on because I'm usually in Skype calls, but it's really nice. I 
I should really check the store, but... Mm. Yeah, I'll buy some fuel. It's pretty cheap. Now, the, where the rebels will slowly encroach. As it says, they've... It's very dangerous. And they're mega tough to beat. So you basically have to get to the exit before they reach you. Oh, that's in for a really big um, fight. I don't know how the sound levels are, but I can, I can, I'll check that when the video is uploaded. Ah, took some damage. I wish there was a speed up button. Most of these fights are pretty simple. It's when you get to the boss that that's the main difficulty. You can increase your dodge chance by um, powering up your engines, but early on, not many people have good engines, so I just destroy them instantly. I'll go here, not risk it. Finally, after months of waiting. Well, they didn't even have, like, there wasn't even a beacon here, so I didn't know. It was, like, and whatever, I'll just destroy you anyway. Now that launches a rocket, not like mine, which just teleports in, so... Oh look, they instantly surrender. Ah, I'm not gonna let them surrender. They, trap, they tried to trick me, and they tried to spring a trap on me, so I'm gonna destroy them. With shields. As each of these rows of power bars is filled up, they become more expensive. And as you buy more of each upgrade, they become more expensive as well. But the subsystem upgrades are always like, you don't need to put power into them. So look, I've got two sets of shields now. Right, let's exit quickly before the rebels attack. to the next sector, I guess. Um, let's have a look at the route. I think it'll be better going this way. Because this is friendly. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to split up the episodes if I do. Yeah, I'll probably split them up by maybe two sectors at a time. Because each sector goes quite fast. And then I can check audio settings and such. Again, I'm going to focus on their sh um, weapons, not shields, because I don't have any shields. Oh, I missed. But I got them with the regular shots. You always have to be careful. I don't have any drone bays, so I can't use drone parts. But I have a limited number of missiles. One's used every time I fire. And I also have a limited number of fuel. Every time you move from one place to place, that's a jump using the faster than light engines, and that takes up one fuel. Places that are surrounded by that little blue thing it means that they're um, uh, they're a nebula, and you can't use your sensors there, which I find annoying. Even though it's sometimes quite minor. Um, this bar means that they, the Zoltan ship, um, has a second layer which nothing can penetrate until you've gone through it. So that's kind of kind of annoying. I'll just keep focusing fire. But once you've gotten through that, it doesn't come back. There we go, see? That's, that's the end of that. There we go. Got their weapons. Another tactic is to take down the oxygen supply, because then they suffocate and they have to go and fix the oxygen. And that stops them from repairing other things, but... I would only do that if I had, like, three or four weapons. And at the moment I only have two. More scrap and missiles. Nothing really to upgrade at the moment. I 
think Engines is also part of being good, but again, it's all chance. Ooh, long range scanners. That means I can see if there's a ship or not without going there, and I can see different information about the places. Still, I like fighting, so... Especially early on, because then you get more scrap. Oh, another shield one. I'm not the best player. I'm not great. But I'll try my best to win, I guess. Oh god, they fired three shots like me. Missiles do two damage, which is good. And also, your people get more skilled at things. Right. Okay, that's part of their shields down. I could end it. Oh, that's true. First playing Gary's mod. I could end the battle now by firing a missile, but it might miss. And I also have a limited amount of them. I wish you could sell. There are a couple of events where you can sell drones, but I don't need drones. Drone parts, I mean. You can sell drones at any store. Let's see what's here. Ah, oh, god, I hate this guy. A random Zoltan wise man who's been driven mad. Choose your doom. I don't like Mantis because they teleport on your ship. Slugs aren't bad. And Rockman I hate, so I'm just going to choose slugs. Don't be fooled by soft underbelly. I'm not being fooled. I know what I'm doing, mate. Look, they can't even hurt me because they've got an eye on a laser and I've got two shields. I keep I keep pointing at the screen, but you can't see it, so you can't see what I'm pointing at. So I hope you see that my shields are there. And their ions are down anyway. If you take down engines, then they can't evade, but that also wastes time that you could be used taking down their weapons again. And don't look. Their shields are up. And now they're down. He implodes. Let's see. That's 150. So now I have three sets of shields. And that's always useful. I'll keep travelling around here until either I feel like there's nothing else left, else left to explore. Or um, until the rebels catch up. Because you never know. See, I might find a store. Which I did. Now, I got a drone from one of those, but because I don't have a drone bit, I might as well just sell it. Fix my ship. Have some fuel and rockets. And then go see what this person's distressed about. I chose not to risk it there because I want to damage my ship after just repairing it. Yeah, give them fuel. And they give me scrap. Oh god. Right, you're gonna you're gonna see what happens when you waste too much time. Here we go. It's gonna be a difficult fight. See, they're already here. Elite fighter. Oh god, they've got big missiles. A lot bigger than mine. They've got a heavy laser. Right, so I'm taking on the laser, but their rockets are the most important. There's a breach there, but that's fine for now. In most cases, I would just wait for my FTL drive to power up so I could leave and run. 
Obviously, I'm just going to salvage the wreck. Now I can flee. Um, going down here will take me into nebulas, which I don't like. I'm going up here, yeah, I'll have to go through two um, unfriendly ones, but then I'll go to a, a friendly one. And another friendly one, so... I'll probably end it off. I'll just repair this and then I'll end it off so that I can check the recordings worked and stuff. Until next time. Bye guys.